Hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back. And if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. So the whole last week I was either in Texas for TumblrCon or prepping for Texas and I did not put together a video. So while I was at TumblrCon, I went ahead and I bought some things to make a quick tutorial because I literally had to make it yesterday. So Jen over at Artistic Painting Studios was there and she went ahead and helped me pick out some foils for me to make this distressed um, patriotic tumbler. And luckily I already had a tumbler that was prepped and cleaned and glittered with filigree from Chase Ray Creations. And I already had it epoxied and it was just kind of sitting there. So it made making this super easy. I also got this new glitter glue from Southern Bell Glitter Company. And I love the fact that it has this little brush because every time I do foils, I have to throw away whatever print paintbrush I use. So this worked perfectly with these foils. Whenever I'm doing a distressed look, I always like to use foils because it's very easy to make foils look distressed. I'm just not that great at applying them. So they naturally look distressed when I do them. Of course, these foils that I got from Jen are so fantastic and they release so easily that they actually started off not being distressed and I had to make them distressed, which was something that was new for me. But it was super fun taking the time to just kind of apply them. I kind of have it sped up because this took a little bit of time for me to get done, but I'm just going to go around the tumbler and just do the blues at the top, reds on the bottom, and kind of blend them together so that you still see the glitter underneath. I just started off by kind of applying them where I thought they would be on the tumbler. And then as I got farther along, I was able to go back in and add to them. And that's what's great about foils is that you can add to it, you can take away from it, and it still looks great. So when I decided to do a tumbler like this, I was going to just take some white permanent vinyl and then just print out some stars on my Cricut and just apply it on there kind of sporadically. But Jen had this really cute star foil and they're like silver holographic. So I decided to go with that. But in hindsight, I would definitely put a coat of epoxy in between the red and blue foils and the star foil. It was kind of peeling up and didn't want to lay nicely, but in the end, it actually helped me with the distress look. But moving forward, I would definitely put a, a coat of epoxy in the middle of that. started off by taking the stars kind of in a swirl pattern. I just thought that I would try that and then I wound up just putting the stars over all of the red and blue foil. It just seemed to work better with what I had in my head.
I had all the foils applied, I did take it outside to the garage and I spray painted it with Rust-Oleum's clear gloss sealant. I just wanted to seal in all of the glue. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to repel with the epoxy. And then I went ahead and I put it on my spinner with about 15 mLs of my Flynn Sisters Facet Epoxy. And then after four hours, I started the decal work. already had the little paint blotch that I need every now and then with tumblers. Um, I got that from Mr. Nola's Glitter. I'll go ahead and link that in the description. And then when I was at TumblrCon, I also got this really cute Stars and Stripes decal from 311 Co. Um, Wendy had so many cute things at TumblrCon, and I'm, I know I'm going to be posting a, a little short with all the different vinyls that I got from her. But I just went ahead and applied that and then got it right back onto the spinner because I did not have a lot of time to get this done. I'm going right in with another 15 mLs of my Fast Set Epoxy. I let that go for four hours and then I went and I sanded it all down. I used about 15 mLs of the regular medium viscosity Artist Cure that Flint Sisters has. Once again, always need that shine. And I let that go overnight. And then this morning it was done and I had it done in time. I'm super excited with how it turned out. And here is the final product. I love how it turned out. I loved trusting the process and I knew that I wanted to pick something out at TumblrCon and put it right onto a tumbler. These foils were great to work with. And if you liked this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my Facebook group, Lily Bean Crafters Community, and I will see everybody again next week. Bye-bye.